Okay, let's say we start with this triangle ABC and uh, we know that the lengths are 3, 4 and 5. Now, if we decided to stretch this triangle um, to double the length of the sides, we could do that by zooming in and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this copy paste and let's resize this um, where's the resize option So let's resize it to 200. Okay. So now we've doubled the size of the triangle, uh, and I don't uh, uh, we could have ma made it three times bigger, or we could have made it half as big, or we could have made it a hundred times as big. But I just chose to do it two times as big. Now, obviously, these numbers are not correct anymore. Um, so let's put in what they actually are. Well, it's twice as big, so this is going to be 10. This is going to be 8. And this is going to be 6. OK. So what about the quantity AB over BC? Did that change or not when we increased the size of the triangle? So if we divide two lengths together, I just chose AB and BC, but we could choose any lengths. When we divide two lengths together, does the answer change if we stretch the picture to make it bigger or smaller? So let's have a look. So this is 5, AB is 5, over BC, which is 4. And uh, in the bigger version, we've got uh, AB over BC would be 10 over 8. And notice that uh, this is actually the 2's cancel and then we get 5 over 4. So the numbers didn't change. So actually all that happened is that we multiplied this by 2 so it was 5 times 2 over 4 times 2 and if we'd made it uh, 10 times bigger then we'd have done 5 times 10 over 4 times 10 but can you see that the 10s cancel and the answer remains the same okay so that brings us to theorem 3 Theorem 3, the ratio, that means ratio, that means dividing them. So if you divide one thing by another, then you find the ratio. So that's just another way of say divide. So when we divide two lengths together, the ratio of any two lengths stays the same the same uh, when we rescale and rescale is basically like resize in paint uh, resize where we just make it bigger or smaller and this is a very useful theorem because what that means is that if we know the angles 
for instance in a triangle if we know the angles if we know the angles then the ratios of the sides won't change if we know all the angles then we can work out the ratios of the sides even without knowing how big the triangle is even if the triangle is very very big or very very small it only depends on the angles not the scale you see so the ratio of two lengths stays the same when we divide two lengths together it stays the same is theorem three